Hi friends! My name is Megan and welcome to my 50th floss tube episode. If you are new here, welcome. This is a channel that's mostly about cross stitch. Um, however, I do share my other hobbies here when I've worked on them. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and spending time with me today. I appreciate all of you even more than you know. Today is Sunday. It is April the 7th and it is a sunshiny day here in Maryland. Um, we've had a lot, a lot of rain uh, recently. Um, so the sunshine is really nice and everything is green and the daffodils have bloomed and gone. Uh, the hyacinths are blooming. I just saw some of my tulips open today. So um, it's big springtime outside, um, which also means <clears throat> big spring allergies for me, so if I uh, am a little sniffy or have a little tickle in my throat, that's that's what's going on there. Um, I hope everybody has been well. Uh, March was a, a busy and kind of eventful month for us. Um, I went to the uh, Woodlawn Needle Work Show, and I will share a little bit about that later on in the video. Uh, and then I had my spring break from work. Um, I work for the local school district and we had our spring break, excuse me, um, at the end of March. <laughs> Sorry, it's like the months are like kind of going together here. Um, and that turned out to be kind of uh, more eventful than we thought. Uh, I had taken off two extra days, so I had off that entire week and my plan was to, I had a very busy weekend leading into it and then um, my plan was like Monday and Tuesday was to clean in my craft room here, which I mean, you probably can't tell based on the way the shelves look, but I did do a big purge of this room here, uh, which felt really good. So my plan was Monday and Tuesday to do that. And then Wednesday uh, through the following Monday, just to kind of chill out. Um, and we had planned to move Quentin's cat here over that time. His, his cat had been living at his dad's house and that wasn't working out great. Um, and you know, we're big animal lovers here. So we had plans to move the cat here and that would give, Quentin was also off work during that time so that was going to give us um, plenty of time to kind of acclimate uh, his cat, it was Tarzan, if I can if I get a picture I'll put one in here, um, to our home. Um, I knew we wouldn't be ready to necessarily introduce him to our other animals yet but at least it was a start and that kind of didn't work out the way we thought it was going to. Um, the night after we brought him here and he seemed fine and then overnight into the next morning Quentin um, said that he was having trouble using the using the bathroom and we ended up calling the vet and then the animal hospital who then all told us to go to the emergency vet. So we spent three days at the emergency vet and he spent even longer, the cat did, there. Um, he has idiopathic cystitis uh, and they thought, they think that like the stress from the move made that flare up. Um, so he had a long stay at the vets. Um, he <clears throat> He's doing okay now. He's been on a lot of different medications um, and so he's uh, he slowly seems like he's feeling better so that's all good. So that was a lot of excitement for us and a lot of stress and a lot of worry and the emergency vet is um, an experience. I'm, I'm very sensitive when it comes to animals and unfortunately at an emergency vet hospital um, you know, animals don't always make it, and so I just cried, <laughs> sat in the waiting room crying a lot. It was a whole thing. But things hopefully are calming down now a little bit. Uh, Tarzan is eating and drinking and using the restroom fine, and um, I feel like, whew, that was a lot. <laughs> so, that's what we've been up to <laughs> lately. Um, Aaron is good. I don't think anything new with him. He just got home from work. Uh, so he took over dog duty. Like I said, it's a beautiful day outside. So of course starts barking. I will be sure to, um, to pause the video and cut that out the best that I can. Uh, mittens is good. Uh, she knows there's somebody in Quentin's room. <laughs> she knows there's another cat in there and uh, we'll see. That'll be an adjustment. Um, dingus as well, you know, things are happening. So. Um, I do have quite a bit to share with you. I, I felt like I didn't have a lot, which is why I kind of put off filming for a little while. Um, but now I feel like I've got a good amount to share. I've got, I think, maybe nine projects here. Um, some finishes and some new starts and some works in progress, some whips that I worked on. I've got uh, a little bit of stitchy kindness and some things that came in the mail and that I bought at a store <laughs> um, and that I got off the internet. So I guess we should probably get started. Uh, let's see. Hang on. 
I was <laughs> I drove Quentin to his dad's house earlier and on the way back I was definitely like singing at the top of my lungs <laughs> um and so my voice is a little scratchy now <clears throat> anyways you know you know it's a beautiful day you got the windows down I'm just gonna sing lovely sometimes <laughs> all right anyways let me show you what I've been working on Okay, so the first project I have to share with you today uh, was an, a whip of mine, and it is Blueberries and Thyme. Um, this is by Summer House Stitch Works. It was part of the French Kitchen. Um, it was a club. For some reason, I can't think of the name of the shop that it was a club for, but I got uh, all four of the patterns in the series as a kit um, from that shop. I'll put it down here. And um, so I worked, I pulled this out and I worked on this one until it was done. I stitched it on the called for fabric, which is hand dyed uh, fabrics by Stephanie, 32 count Belfast in Friendship Green, using all of the called for uh, flosses, which came in the kit. Sure, a little messy, <laughs> not too bad. Uh, this project has been living in this Black Eyed Susan bag that I made. Um, this was one of the first vinyl front bags that I made and it's very floppy, <laughs> but that's okay. It still holds a project. Um, so I pulled this out and I worked on it until it was finished. So I've got one left in this series and that is um, sausage and apples maybe, or it's the fall one, uh, whatever that one is. And then they will all be done. Use some close-ups. These are uh, this basket. Maybe you can see it is all French knots, <laughs> um, which was a lot of fun. Actually, I do enjoy French knots usually. So, and then there's some little eyelets, like modified eyelets, in the um, the chandelier up here. So, one more down, one more to go. Hopefully, uh, this fall I will start the last one in the series and get it all wrapped up. The next project I have to share with you was one that I started for the, oh, my notes are covered up here, uh, for the uh, Fab Four Fun Sale. I feel like I'm not saying that right. If I'm not saying that right, I will put it across the bottom here. Uh, that was hosted by Cross Stitch the Globe and Julian Stitches. Um, for that stitch along, I chose the Long and Winding Road. Uh, the stitch along is to um, stitch any of the um, Magical Mystery Tour patterns by Blackbird Designs. So I've already completed Eleanor Rigby, and now this one is done. Uh, I stitched this on a piece of 28 count French lace by Color and Cotton, um, using a false conversion from my stash. Um, it was inspired by <laughs> the cover photo for sure. Um, this project lived in my Stitch Folk bag, which I love, and I need to pick a new Blackbird to uh, put into here. And here is my finish. So this was uh, a lot of fun to stitch. There are a lot of um, lazy daisies up here at the top. I am filming later in the day than I normally do. Uh, I normally film uh, in the morning and it's almost five o'clock here on Sunday so my lighting is unfortunately not great. Um, but you know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Anyways, I really enjoyed this project a lot. So I did, um, I stitched Eleanor Rigby and I put my grandmother's name on it and for this one I did uh, my initial, my M, and um, my birth year, which is 1984. Yes, I will be 40 this year. <laughs> um, yeah, but I loved this. This was a great, uh, great stitch. Super fun. Um, I stitched that on the 28 count to fit on top of a um, shaker box that I have, which is I'm covered in things over there. I would show you uh, one day when that gets finished, you'll see the whole thing. Right, uh, next up, uh, my orchid was blooming. I'll put a picture in here of my orchid. And um, so I pulled out my Lady Orchid Moth by Nora Corbett. 
pattern looks like this. I'm stitching this as a gift for someone who also loves orchids. And I like to pull it out when my orchid blooms, which is usually around February, March, that time. It lives in this Maryland bag that I made. Got a little accessory bag in here too. And it's being stitched on 28 um, green apple by 28 count, excuse me, green apple by X2 Designs. Um, using all of the called for DMC and I have the bead pack as well. And there's where she is. So she's coming along nicely. Uh, she was already halfway done. Uh, the top half of her was done and so I basically added in uh, this big orchid right here and I really love how that looks. Hang on one second for me. Okay, I adjusted the lighting a little bit to see if that would help. I'm not sure <laughs> if how, how much it's going to do, but anyways. So I added in that orchid. This is definitely one of those patterns where you're like stitching and stitching and stitching all these um, all these blocks of color and it's really not until you step back that you can really see what you're doing. Um, and the beautiful flower that you made. I, I find um, this to be a super relaxing stitch. Uh, the Mirabilia that I've done I also loved stitching so when she's done um, I'll pick another one and start it. Um, the only thing about her though is that I'm not super happy with her skin. Um, and I'm not sure how, what I want to do about that, how, how or what I want to do about it. So anyways, there she is. Uh, hopefully then next year she'll be done. She doesn't have very much down left at the bottom. All right. Uh, the next project I have here is not one that I have a picture of. Um, I am a member of a beast or gods Patreon and I, pay for the membership that allows you access to all of the back, um, all of the back patterns that they have put out. Um, and I'm trying to stitch my way through some of them that I really like. So I think in my last video I showed one, it was like a February one. And this one was the next one that he put out, um, which was maybe like May of 2020. Oh, did I write it down? I did not. <laughs> Anyways, I am stitching these on the called for 18 count uh, oatmeal Ada using the called for DMC or close to it. I've got a big bag of supplies here uh, to work through some of those and here's my finish. So for this one there were various uh, fruits that you could choose from to put in the center there. I just really really like uh, his style. I don't know that he puts his patterns out anywhere else, um, but I will make sure that his Patreon is linked below. So that's a lot of fun. And it only takes, you know, it took maybe two days, I think, to stitch this. He's got some bigger ones <clears throat> um, that will definitely take longer, but I'm just going to plug away <laughs> as I do. All right, uh, the next project I have to share with you, I was so excited to start. Uh, this was my uh, start for the first day of spring. And I've had this pattern in my collection for quite a while. <clears throat> I remember watching Michelle at the Striped Rose, and I can't remember if this was when she first started it or when she first showed it. Um, she hasn't made a video in a long time, but I will be sure to uh, link her below. I loved her floss tube. Uh, but she showed this and it was like one of those first times that I had like immediately stopped a video and went and gotten, <laughs> got the pattern. And that pattern is The Promise Kept by the Cricut Collection. Uh, this is really a uh, blown out picture here. So I will um, see if I can find a better one and pop it in right there so you can see what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I've had this in my stash for a long time, and uh, I think the reason I had put off starting it was because the floss list was pretty long, um, and I don't know why, like, just looking at that list felt, uh, like, a little overwhelming to me, but I had all the colors here. I think I only had to buy a couple, um, so I went ahead and made a start on that. 
and I'm really, really loving it. I'm stitching it on a piece of Mystic Owl, uh, 40 count Mystic Owl by Color and Cotton. And it's living in this cute little mousy bag that I made a couple years ago. Like you can hear it, like can you hear the heft of that bag? It's all DMC in there. And here's where I am so far. So I started in the middle with that little crocus. And I've moved over to the tulip. So I'm really, really enjoying this. Um, this is the project that I have been working on um, in the evenings. I just put a length or two of thread into it and it really is coming along uh, pretty quickly. I really love this a lot. I am looking forward to working on it again tonight. So I love that. Uh, the next project I I believe I showed in my last video, but I wasn't positive that I was going to keep working on it. Um, and then I did. <laughs> and that is Flathead's Embrace by the Fermented Needle, which looks like this. Um, I feel pretty sure that the last time I only had the outer um, border done. But I, even though I don't say it, I always put if... <clears throat> Um, a picture of the of where it was last time, where my projects were last time, up on the screen uh, while I'm talking about them before I show my current progress. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's this project. This was what I ended up using as like my travel project. Um, I went and sit with a friend one um, evening, and I took this um, to her house and. Um, I took it to my stitch group and it went to the vet with us. Uh, so this has been in my car mostly. Um, I'm stitching this on a piece of 36 count color and cotton in pampas grass. I'm using all of the colored four colors here. It's a little bit of a mess, but this uh, autumn leaves is really pretty. I like that color a lot. Uh, it lives in this bag for my friend Diana. <clears throat> And here's where I got to. So I, I have just been adding in uh, this angel mostly. I did this little uh, star at the top here. And then uh, he was good. He was good for sitting in the waiting room um, and stuff like that because you could just, I just did an outline of the areas. And as you can see, I've been filling them in. So. I don't know if this will continue to be my on-the-go project. We will see, but love it, love it, love it. If you saw my, um, my end of December update, you'll know how much I love an interesting angel. <laughs> uh, this next pattern, I showed in my last video that I had borrowed it from my friend Ethel, and that is uh, the Black Cat Sampler 12-inch pillow by uh, with thy needle and thread like this. So I stitched this with the called for, um, this is my working copy. Um, I stitched this on the called for 30 count onyx linen using the called for DMC. And it lived in this little Halloweeny bag here. And I'm not one to get someone's yum but I um, did not like this fabric. <laughs> in fact, I think that um, this might be my least favorite fabric that I've ever stitched on. So here's the, here's the pattern, it's all done. Um, do I have, I wonder if I put the bag behind it, if that'll help. There you go. Um, Sorry, I just forgot what I was what I was saying. Uh, but yeah, uh, this fabric I did not like at all. <laughs> I could not um, get my tension, like any tension on this fabric. I tried uh, hoops, I tried tension hoops. There's like little white marks on here from um, using the hoops. I tried Q-snaps, I, I tried stitching it in hand. I tried all the things that I could do, all of the different equipment I have available to me. And it still just felt very like, loosey goosey um and was just really not an enjoyable <laughs> um i'm happy that it's done and i wanted to stitch it on the 30 count because there is a pattern in the 
yeah, there's a pattern in the pattern uh, for the cat, like the outline. And I'm sure I could have figured it out. Um, but I was like, oh, I just want it to be easy. Uh, so I had ordered the fabric for it and um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, it's done. Um, I'll be anxious to get this one uh, fully finished. I did take my pumpkins at the bottom and they were supposed to be smiling, but I made them all unhappy because I was not happy to <laughs> Um, yeah. But there we go. There's our little black cat. Uh, the next project I have here to share, um, I pulled out my uh, 2020 pandemic sampler whip. Uh, this is by uh, Sarcy Girl. Christine. This is my sad black and white copy here. Um, it's hard to believe that it's been four years um, and it felt appropriate to pull this out in March. I'm stitching this on a piece of 36 count My Little Dove by x Design using all of the called for DMC and it lives in this purple bag. And I was working on page four. So this one's pretty big. So here's where I am. I was hoping to get a page finish, but I just could not do it. Um, the border, while beautiful, is very stitch heavy. Um, and obviously this house is big and a lot of stitching as well. Um, so I worked on the border and I out got the outline, some bones in the house. Um, and I was kind of using the house as like uh, some of my lunchtime stitching there for a while to try to get it filled in. But I kind of lost steam and, you know, maybe I'll pick it back up later this year and try to finish the page. I usually, on my samplers, like to try to finish a whole page when I work on them in a year. Um, but we'll see. Either way, it's coming along nicely. It's a beautiful, beautiful sampler. Um, the chart is easy to read. Unbelievable that it was free. This is gorgeous, so. Yep. She'll be done one day. And the last project that I have here to share with you that I worked on, I'm still currently working on, and that is the Modern Folk Embroidery No Time Like the Present Sale for 2024. Looks like this. Um, I was inspired by this colorway down here. And I'm not quite done with the March section, but I am getting there. Um, it lives in this little celestial bag that I made. And I am stitching it on a piece of 36 count platinum linen using DMC 370, which is empty, <laughs> and 3031, which is almost empty. And here's where I'm at. So, I'm sorry, I'm like leaning on the table and I can see it shaking. Also, I think I've been looking at the wrong place, so if I've not been, you know, looking right into the camera, whoops. <laughs> Um, I'm still getting used to this new setup, so. Anyways, here's where I am. This, um, this month had a lot <laughs> of stitching in it because we started filling in uh, this big circle here. But it's looking really, really good. I had a hard time. I think that's... I've had this on the um, Q-Snap for a while now. I was having a hard time getting into this, and what I eventually had to do was kind of cut up the pattern because um, the pattern comes monthly by strips and you get the whole thing at once. So I kind of cut up the pattern so I would, could just see this, like I taped all of it together so I could just see this and that made it a lot easier. And ever since I did that, I feel like I'm like not flying through it, but definitely going faster. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I am using one strand for the 370 and two strands for the 3031. Um, and I did that because I knew I was going to want to stitch this section um, using the sewing method. So what I do, um, normally I would do that in hand, but what I do when I've got something like this is I just loosen my Q-snap and I kind of hold, hold a finger in the back to press it up and then I just stitch from the front. I don't know if that made any sense or if anybody cares, <laughs> but that's what I'm doing with this project. Uh, so I'm going to work on this again tonight and then um, 
hopefully in a day or two have this finished up and move on to some other projects. I've got some of my whips like locked and loaded <laughs> and ready to go. Some of my other springtime whips that I'm anxious to get to. So, but this is a lot of fun and I think it's turning out really, really nice. I'm really excited about this project. Okay. So I think that that is everything that I have worked on and, um, I forgot to show you my book of days, but, <laughs> uh, it's over there and I've made a giant mess in this room, or at least on this table, <laughs> getting set up for this video. So, but I stitched every day. That's all that matters, I think. So, all right, I'm going to pause for one second. I'm going to reset just a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, things were a little precarious over here, so hopefully I have um, made it so everything does not fall down. <laughs> all right. Um, so what's next? Oh, I want to share some stitchy kindness that I have received. Um, my friend Paula, who's in the Threaded Friends group, my needlework group, gave us all of these cute little bags. They were all different prints. This is the one that I got. She always spoils us, so thank you, Paula. And then my friend Ethel, who is Stitches um, by Ethel, uh, the one that I borrowed the black cat pattern from, um, shared this with me, which I love. This pattern is from, I think it's Delaney Valley, Delaney Valley Treasures, Delaney, I always want to, I always think of Delaney Valley Road. That's not right. <laughs> Delaney, whatever, I'm, I'm not sure. I will put the correct name uh, down here. <laughs> But this has been on my want to stitch list for quite some time and now I don't have to do it because Ethel stitched it and I um, gave it to me and I absolutely love it. Beautiful fabric on the back and it's a pocket. Yeah. Look at that cat, isn't that cute? Check these out. They're amazing. So I absolutely love this love this it's so beautiful um and she also included uh, this uh cute little uh floss organizer as well perfect it'll go up on my shelf with my other ones so i love it thank you ethel you're the best um all right what else do we have here my color and cotton fabric of the month came it was 36 count drizzle um it's hard to see there's like some really pretty modeling in this. It's like very light but very very pretty. I wish I had had this when I started um, Promise Kept because this would be perfect for that too. But gorgeous. Can't wait to pick out something to put on that. Uh, I placed an order with 123 Stitch because I needed the 30 count Onyx and I got a couple other things. I got this Pineberry Lane pattern, um, Fanny Griswold, which I would like to stitch for my sister. Uh, her husband's family is the Griswolds, so. I stitched her, um, her name is Emily Ann, and so I stitched her one of the um, Hands Across the Sea Emily Ann patterns. Emily Ann Forster, I believe. <laughs> um, but I love stitching for my sister, even though she calls it knitting. <laughs> um, I also got a little piece of just some natural raw 36 count and some summer khaki uh, 36 count uh, for a couple of projects I've been thinking about. I have also started collecting um, some fabrics for patterns out of this book. This is a fine collection by Blackbird Designs. This is an out of print book, um, but I have been collecting some fabric and I ordered a couple pieces from uh, in this one, two, three stitch order to go with that. So I got this pink. Oops. I think to go with the February pattern here. Uh, what is this? 32 count Charlotte's pink. I'm not sure who makes that. And then um, I also had to get a piece of just 28 count black Joblin for the January. Right there. Um, and just because I'm showing this book, I would love to show off one more time <laughs> uh, this beautiful piece of needlework that my friend uh, Rebecca stitched for me. It's over one on 28 count, and it's the cover of that book, and it's one of my prized possessions, and it lives on a shelf, a corner shelf that I had Erinville up there 
specifically so that I could have this up there <laughs> uh, so I could look at it every day when I'm sitting in my stitching chair. So, I love it. Thank you again. Uh, so next I'm going to talk a little bit about the Woodlawn Needlework Show. Um, this was the second year that I've attended and I went with some of the ladies in my stitching group and it was amazing. Um, I'm going to have pictures um, from the show uh, over here. <laughs> um, and the one that really stood out, like, okay, I can't say the one that really stood out to me because there were so many that really stood out to me. They were just absolutely gorgeous. But somebody had stitched Eleanor Parr, um, I think it's a scarlet letter sharp. Um, and they had just done the outside border with these beautiful birds and put a mirror in the center and I am still thinking about that mirror. I just, it's, it was just one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Um, so that was unbelievable. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Um, and there was so much fine needlework. There was, um, you know, all age groups represented. There was like kids that were I think 13 and under. There was a lot, a lot of entries from people that were in the 70 plus category. Um, beautiful, fine, over one teeny tiny stitches, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that was awesome. I'm really glad that we went and made a day of that. Um, they do have, oh here was the, um, the little book from that show. And you get a 20% off uh, coupon at InStitches. Um, you bring this with you, so I definitely use that. Um, but while I was at the show, they have a little gift shop there, and I got two things. I got this sweet little bag, which I love. It's got polka dots in it. Isn't that cute? And I also got these teeny tiny little scissors. How sweet are they? I can't say no to little scissors. Little scissors are my absolute favorite. <laughs> so I got those. Uh, and then we went over to In Stitches, and uh, that store is wonderful. They've got so, it's just, it's jam-packed. There's so much to see in there. Um, so that's a super, super fun. And I did get a couple things. I, I didn't go too crazy. <laughs> I just got a couple things. I got some more of the uh, ball tip needles. Um, I didn't have any of the 20, size 28s. I uh, typically use a size 26, so I got some of the size 28s to try out. These are by far my very favorite needle. This is all I really want to stitch with. Um, the, the little freebie chart that they included was Do Everything in Love by Silver Creek Samplers. This was actually stitched and entered at Woodlawn. I'm not sure that I have a picture of that, but if I do, I will have inserted it. Uh, what is, I think, my only market purchase so far? <laughs> um, there were so many things that I loved from market. In fact, I've got I've got lists going of things that I would like to get. Um, the only thing that I've actually purchased so far is uh, Carriage House Sampling Strawberry Dream. Um, this reminds me very much of my grandmother, uh, who was actually born in 1924. So I don't even have to rechart the um, rechart the date. It's already done for me, but that'd be pretty. Maybe I'll start that this summer. It's not very many colors, so beautiful. I love that. Uh, they had a little bit of lakeside linen there. Um, they had, uh, they didn't have any 40 count. They had um, a fair amount of 32 count and they had just a little bit of 36 count. So I did get a piece of 36 count uh, wood smoke. So that's a beautiful color. Can't wait to put something awesome on this. Um, really really like that a lot so i picked up that and the great thing about the 20 percent off coupon is that they let you use that on anything that you want so you can use it on your most expensive item if you wanted to so i used it on my linen so that was great um the other thing that i wanted to get while i was there was um some flosses i've been i was in the mood to kit up some projects and so i pulled out quite a few from my um stash of springtime charts and I got some of the flosses I needed for those so I brought the ones that I kitted up there and then I just brought um, a couple other ones that I believe are mostly kitted with DNC or things that I uh, pulled from my stash to share with you as well. Uh, the first thing I have here is, and I, they will be in the plastic because I, I need to keep everything together, <laughs> um, the first thing I have here is It's Peony Season by Stitches Through the Years which is really pretty. Um, and I just want to do this teapot here, um, my mother collected teapots, and 
I just think that one is so pretty and um, we have peonies that grow here. They were established when we moved in and they are one of my very favorite things in the whole wide world. Um, so anyways, uh, so I got the overdyes for that. Pretty soft colors. I need to grab it, a couple of DMCs too, but I got the overdyes for that. I got the flosses for, this is gonna fall down. Um, my Heart Can Rest by Blackbird. And that's what they look like. Those are really pretty colors. Um, I oftentimes just will get things up out of my stash, but I sometimes I'm just not in the mood to, and I just want to use <laughs> exactly what they called for. And that's how I felt about that. Um, next project I kitted up, that was everything that I got at In Stitches. The rest of this is just either DMC or things from my stash. I had, um, like a $40 voucher for Michaels from when I got my framing done, so I bought a lot of DMC if I didn't have it. Um, but I did kit up Piroi by Stacy Nash. Um, that's what those colors look like. I had the called for fabric already in here. Um, so I just pulled the overdyes. I might change out the grass color. I don't think my grass color is probably quite as dark, but I really love the slug. Slug season has already started here. I, so I don't know if everybody knows this, but slugs eat cat food. <laughs> so when we feed Dingus outside and it's been raining, um, it's like a race against time for her to eat her food before the slugs come. It's a whole thing. But um, He's really cute. I like him a lot. Um, I pulled all the DMC for Not Forgotten Farm Spring Farmhouse. I really like this one. I love Not Forgotten Farm patterns. She might be my favorite designer. Um, this I had purchased, and it came with the fabric and this one floss, but I had to get the rest of the DMC colors together. I have no idea what that fabric is, but I'm just going to go for it. So I got the floss for Lindy Stitches, Hedgehog House. How cute is that? Absolutely adorable. Bunch of DMC for that. Um, a lot of times I will put projects into uh, sheet, protect sheet protectors uh, until they make their way into a project bag just to store them all together. This is Flower Moth by The Wishing Thorn, Flower Moth 2. I don't know that that's a very good picture, but I grabbed the last. I needed one more DMC for that. So I got that and I picked out the fabric. I want to use them. I'm going to do a nice dark gray for that one. Uh, Forget Me Not by Hello from Liz Matthews. I remember when this came out, I literally gasped. I love this so much. And I did pull the DMC, but I haven't decided on this one as well if I want to switch out. Um, the green and maybe even the blues for an over dyed. I'm not sure yet. So we will see. Um, two more. This is Hands to Earth by Good Flora Stitchwort <laughs> on Etsy. Looks like this. That all kitted up and ready to go. And lastly, this one I'm definitely starting this year. This is One Tulip by Kathy Barrick. And um, I've, I've loved this for a long time, and I've had it for several years, and it's not very big, so there's no good reason not to start it. I got the rest of the DMC I needed. Um, it's only 60 by 97, so there's no good reason not to start that. <laughs> All right, and then lastly, I've got a few other charts that I ordered kind of as one-offs either on uh, eBay or Stash Unloading. I got Holiday Cones Number 1 by The Primitive Needle. Those are cute. Um, every, a lot of people at work do, like, season, seasonally decorate their desks and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I do like these. Uh, this is Ship of Life by The Needle Love Company. Uh, I saw... Um, Michelle Cozy Egg stitched this, and I believe Julie, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World, is stitching this too. And it came up for $3 on Stash Unloading, and I snapped that up right away. Beautiful. 
I got the Betsy Shed Sampler. I love that. There's a lot of uh, satin stitch in this one. A border. Um, there's several borders of satin stitch actually. And some eyelets too. But she's really pretty. $17.79. And uh, last but definitely not least is Lucin Lucinda Frazier. 1866 from Needlework Press. She is stunning. I love her. Love, love, love her. Maybe this fall I'll start her. She's only four colors, oh, but she's pretty big. She's 238 wide by 278 high. So, love it though. Um, I did purchase a couple things that are, um, they were PDFs that I don't have physically here in front of me, um, but I will post, uh, pop in some pictures of what they were. I ordered the Fungi Book Sale by Living on the Rainbow. Um, I believe a lot of people were heavily influenced by Amy Loves Toads, uh, to purchase this after seeing the book that she did with the, um, was it like little monsters in there, I think? Anyways, it was adorable, so I purchased the stitch along for that, as well as the accessory pack. Um, I didn't write down who did the accessory pack, but it was like the it was the linen, the um, Cora is outside now and and upset at somebody out there. Um, anyways. I ordered the accessory pack. It had the linen and like the little book corners and I truly can't remember what else off the top of my head right now, but it was like everything you need to stitch it except for the floss. And there is a lot of floss um, with this pattern, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for that to start. I think that starts in May, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, I also purchased from D's 20 Stitches their Trans Day of Visibility 2024 release. Um, this was a one day fundraiser pattern and it was called Know Thyself and I purchased that and that's right here. From Shaded Stitchery I purchased Closely Kept number three, which I'll put right here. I don't know, I for some reason I thought I had number two but maybe I don't. I was looking through my files so I think I have to go back and get that one. I think number two was in purples and number this number three is in browns. I really really like that a lot. And then lastly uh, from the retro stitcher I got CAPTCHA uh, which is definitely a little different than my normal style but I don't know something about it I just really really loved. So anyways I think that's it. Um, I hope everybody has had a wonderful month and um, that everybody's doing okay. And that's it. All right. Love you guys. Bye.